All right, with this video, I'm going to cover met. Metformin. So metformin is actually the most commonly prescribed medication for PCOS, but it's not an actual PCOS medication. Metformin is actually for type 2 diabetes, and that's because metformin here is what's called an ISD, an insulin sensitizing drug. The link there between PCOS and type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance. Insulin resistance can turn into pre-diabetes and then type 2 diabetes. So the reason it is prescribed to women with PCOS will be due to the fact that you have insulin resistance. Now, not all women with PCOS will have insulin resistance, but around 50 to 70% of women with PCOS will also have insulin resistance. Now, Metformin helps insulin resistance in three ways. The first one, it limits glucose production by the liver. So when you eat food, especially carbohydrates, it's your liver's job to turn those carbohydrates into glucose, blood sugar. So metformin will limit how much food is turned into glucose. So blood sugar level will remain lower than normally they would. The second way is it decreases the actual absorption of carbohydrates. So before you even turn carbohydrate into glucose, it actually decreases the absorption or the amount of carbohydrate that's, that then can be turned into glucose. And the third way, and lastly, it does actually also increase the cellular sensitivity to insulin. Now, the benefits of metformin will be these three big things here. Number one, body weight. As I always talk about, insulin resistance drives weight gain. It is the main reason why so many women with PCOS struggle with body weight. Insulin resistance drives weight gain. So metformin, which is helping to reduce insulin resistance, will help to reduce body weight. The second one is androgens. As we know, high insulin levels caused by insulin resistance drives the ovaries to overproduce androgens. So metformin will cause lower insulin levels, therefore your ovaries won't overproduce androgens. And therefore, that's why metformin will help with things like acne, hair loss, hair growing, uh, can help with fertility issues and menstrual cycle irregularities as well. And the third way here is metabolic syndrome. So metabolic syndrome is a collection of conditions like prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high triglyceride levels. Metformin will help to lower your risk of those conditions because as I said, around 50% of women with PCOS over the age of 40 will have metabolic syndrome. Now, the side effects, which is very often experienced by women with PCOS, will be nausea, bloating, gas, abdominal discomfort, and also diarrhea here. I'm often messaged by women with PCOS talking about their metformin and say, I just can't handle it. The side effects have just got me going crazy. I wish I could, but I can't handle the side effects. And therefore, what are the natural alternatives to metformin? The two big ones will be inositol and NAC and acetylcysteine. In studies, they have both been shown to basically be as effective as metformin. And acetylcysteine, especially for this, this glucose production, and inositol has been especially shown around fertility to be just as good as metformin. But number five here is you have to understand about metformin, it is not a cure. It will not solve your PCOS. When you jump off metformin, it is very likely that the symptoms you were experiencing before will come back. That's why lifestyle modification, diet, exercise, stress reduction, quality sleep, supplementation is so very important. So I hope this video was really informative for you about metformin. If you have any questions at all about metformin, let me know. I'll answer them or turn them into post or videos in the future. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.